Yeah. And Delia demanded to know that Phil come to bed with her. Um, so here we are. Phil came. We did bedtime stories and he's now in bed with her. A little foot warmer, aren't you? So we watched um, a movie today. We watched the real Matilda, the original. And Amelia was a bit scared of Miss Trunchbull, and admittedly, she's three and a half years old. She was probably a little bit young to be watching Matilda, but we did it. And um, yeah, she did get a bit scared, so she asked for Phil to come to bed with her tonight because she said she didn't want to be on her own. Which I thought was just the cutest. And I love that she picked Phil. Because he's like the oldest dog. Like if I was to think of the dogs. Teddy is kind of her dog. They grew up together. And that's who she plays with and stuff. But when she's a little bit frightened. It's not Teddy that she goes to. It's Phil. The old man. It doesn't. He loves her obviously. He's right here with her. But he um. You know, they don't really play together or anything like that. But he would always watch over her. <gasps> Thought I'd mention it as well, guys. I haven't spoken about it in a long time since we created it. But this was the bedtime story that she requested tonight, which is a book about her and Phil and building confidence. Um, it's about all the dogs, to be fair, but it's, it's particularly about Phil. It was a dedication to Phil when we wrote it. Well, we started it when um, we couldn't find answers for all these health concerns and we thought we might be losing him, but we wanted something for her to remember him forever. Our worries were about a year and a half ago. She was two and a half, three years old and thinking that she might not remember him as she grows up. Now we have, um, we know what's wrong with him. He's on medication, it's a lifelong condition, but he will live a long and happy life. So different type of situation that we're in, however, we still have this book that was kind of a dedication to their relationship together and their bond and yeah had a bit of a moral for a young child so if you are interested in hearing more about it then it's called what i love about you and you can pick up on amazon in barnes and noble anywhere really i do love that she's got a book about her the only thing is now obviously we've got nathan now <laughs> At the time of starting this book, we didn't plan on a second child, so we're going to have to do a second one at some point, I think. But anyway, I'm going to leave these guys to it, and I'll come check on them in a little bit. Oh, no, hang on a moment, bear with, Milo wants to be in this video. Hello, Milo. Mia sleeps with her door open now. Um, but Milo goes in here and sleeps in it usually. I thought he was going to go straight in to his spot. But he often spends the night with Amelia. Is that what's going on here then? Milo wants to be involved. Milo's picked his spot. And he's just trying to edge Phil away. <laughs> it's funny as well because Milo will only lay next to Phil. The other two, they're for playing with. Nico, he likes to torment and tease. And Teddy obviously plays with him all day long. Um, they are always playing with each other. Whereas Phil and Milo always sleep together. Definitely got a different relationship with each of the dogs. Anyways, he's curled up next to Phil now. And me. What? Phil. I was like, that was my spot, Mum. Make him go away. I was happy here. Oh, Phil. Okay. Hold on, let me 
zoom out so you see. If I go away again, will Nico come in? Or will Teddy? So just turned off some main light. Come out. 